today I'm here with a new a video and today I am here with a ranking video and I have done three of those before I think with you guys place blush tribe and color pop and <laughs> I'm like okay I want to do more ranking videos but I'm like okay I don't have enough palettes for my brand but now I'm just going to do it I'm going to do Menardier's today and I have five palettes so it uh, it is at least something. So I will show you my rankings. I will talk a little bit about the palettes, why they came in certain places. And yeah, I have five of their big, I think that's all of their big palettes. And yeah, I have ranked those. And this is like my rankings now. And I feel that Menardi is a good brand. They do shadows good, they do shimmers good, and they do mattes good. Is it my favorite formula? No. Is it some difference between the palettes? Yes. But overall, I think Menardi is a good brand. So yeah, I am just going to talk about them, my rankings. And you can already now guess which one is my favorite. I think some of you should know which one my favorite is. But I'm going to start from the bottom and we're going to the top. And this is like my rankings now. So end of intro and let's go into the video. So in fifth place I have the Killer Purr and this one thing I, I don't like the name of the palette I'm not super thrilled about the packaging even though I loved Lions when I was younger but this is the packaging I like the least and the palette looks like this and just by looking at it like this it should be my kind of colors but I don't know I think this is a pretty neutral palette for Menagerie and also it's like <laughs> this stands out a little bit and that is like the only one I think I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't Menagerie if I'm going to be honest and I have nothing to complain about this it's just that the color story doesn't speak to me and it's not like I'm picking up this palette because I want to play with it and that's why it comes in a fifth place and I really wished for something more I think though the colors go really good with like the packaging it really like resembles this so it goes really good together but it's nothing that I want to play with Maybe I should play with this more because I still bought it and yeah, but it's not favorite. In fourth place <laughs> is the Dragon Child and this is not available any longer as a palette. It is, um, I think the singles are still available. This was their first palette and it looks like this. It has some shades that I absolutely love like Flame Tongue and Mother Dragon and also Firefly. But <laughs> if you've been here for a while, you know my struggles with this palette. It's a formula that I'm not used to and I, I think that I am pretty good with using different shadows and using different formulas. But this is a struggle for me. I can use it and it's not just that perfect for me. I really love the color story though. I think it's pretty unique and it is a really cool color story but I have some problems with it. <laughs> like this isn't as pastely and fun and vibrant as it looks and like Stone Drake and Wyrm I I think this is lighter than this one on the eyes and it fucks me up every time. I've done a free looks one palette. I have done like a get ready with me where I test the new technique and it worked, but it doesn't work with the technique I have. But I really like the shades. I really like the colors. The color story is amazing, but it is a little bit of struggle. Not a struggle, but you know when you're used to do your eyeshadow in one, one way, in one way, <laughs> in one way. And then you have to do it in another way to make it work. It, it annoys me a little bit. But yeah, the Dragon Child is place number four. And this is going to be a long video, I think. And for the top three, uh, this was hard. I think I have made up my mind. I'm not sure, but I think. As for right now, this is 
the place. So in third place is the Pastel, Pastel Pup. This is their newest palette and <laughs> I'm not thrilled about <laughs> the palette. Um, I've, I like seals, I think they are cute. But it's nothing that I want on my palette. I really like the backside though. And the palette looks like this. I can leave my first impression up here. I really liked it in my first impression, but <laughs> I am so used to do things with Creepy Cute that has the best pastel colors ever. These are still good, and I think if you haven't tried the Creepy Cute from Shroud, you would think this is amazing, but I don't. I think though it's a fun palette. I like there is a, like a yellow and two different greens. So I like that it's more colors in this one. They are good colors. I have nothing to complain about, but it's just that I am more used to <laughs> Shroud and that feels maybe strange to say, but that's how I feel and that's why it's come in third place. I think if I haven't tested Creepy Cute, I think this would maybe come on top. And also I think that this feels like it divides everybody with the black and the white one. I would rather have like three shimmers down here instead. Maybe shimmery white. I know that it's for like mixing and deepen down or lighten up things and maybe put the white one as a base and then put the others on top but for me it doesn't I don't need it so yeah a really good palette if you want to try pastels I can recommend it even though I recommend the creepy cute more but it's good pastels it's good palette it's a good formula okay and the runner-up <laughs> is the Faro palette this palette I love the front of this and it looks like this. I bought the first one that had two other shades up here that I actually liked more and there were two like really neutral shades but I really liked this palette and I think this was when Minari Cosmetics really like people discovered them and I think this must have been their second palette. I really like it. I think I've done Free Looks 1 palette, I've done a palette bingo and a first impression. And like, the, the thing I really really like about this is you can easily do like a green look and you can do like a pink look and you can do an orange and a yellow look and you can do neutral looks as well. I really like this. I think it has a lot of options and I still think the palette like it looks like a good color story and it's fun to play with. And I know that some people doesn't like this, but <laughs> I think this is so much better formula wise, at least for me, than the Dragon Child. So this is the runner up. Maybe I should use this soon. Maybe I should do that. And just, maybe I should take an extra look on the packaging. It is amazing. It is amazing. So, in first place, and I think, I hope that you all know what it, which one it is, it is of course the Whale Song palette. I love this palette. This is a blue and a green palette, and it's a little bit hard to open. It looks like this. I think I've done a Free Looks 1 palette, and it feels like I say this every time when I talk about this, so I maybe should just, like, try to be sure if I have done it or not. But I am 99% sure. I think I said it last time when I talked about this as well. The thing I love the most with this <laughs> is uh, Plankton and Kelp because it's so up my alley. I really love them. The shimmers in this is really, really good. All the shimmers. And I just think the mix is really good. It's not too much blue. It's not too much green. And like this fluke. It is like the best light shimmer green ever and I really like that they put pearl in this one so you can lighten up and like do an inner corner highlight because I like to do that and I feel that even like the dark blue is a really good dark blue maybe you have to work a little bit more with that than with the other shades but it's easy to do 
Um, and I don't think you need to be used to play with colors for do something with this. What's up with me? So yeah, this is my number one palette from Nardi. I really, really like it. And it feels like a lot of people really, really like it. And I really like the front of this. A little backstory maybe. When I was like 11, 12 maybe, you know, maybe your you and your friends had like posters with Backstreet Boys and and Sync and whatever. I had posters with whales on. <laughs> I've always loved the ocean so much and like whales and killer whales and sharks and everything. I I, I love the ocean and uh, it speaks to my 11 year old me. <laughs> it really does. Maybe that's why I love it. And yeah, that was my ranking of my Menagerie Cosmetics palettes do you agree with me do you disagree i know that you wanna disagree with me because you love the dragon child um <laughs> if you have any minority palettes please tell me which one is your favorite and i think i want to do more ranking videos i actually have some new us place palettes since i did my last uh, ranking and i also am going to do with my nabla palettes i just it just feels so hard to do it. I'm not looking forward to that at all. And yeah, that was actually all for this video. I really hoped you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!